What is going on, you guys? It's your boy, Avery. And yes, my voice may sound a little bit deeper. That's because I literally just woke up and it's uh, 9 a.m. here in the United States. I know I got a lot of European viewers. So for y'all, it's probably like, what, 9, 10 o'clock at night? Smash the ever-living morning boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button. And to get that morning doo-doo stain off of your grass so that we can get to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. I've been sick as a dog. For those of you who haven't been keeping up with all the videos, I... Uh, got back in town from some uh, VHL cancer stuff that I had to deal with. I had some MRI scans. It all went good. Pretty much everything shrank. And uh, I then forgot my cancer meds. So I went two days without them. My body's been all out of whack. Uh, so I've been trying to upload it the very least every other day. And I just, I haven't had the time and I've just been feeling bad. So anyway, I wanted to make a video this morning or this evening, wherever the hell you are in the world, um, because Y'all deserve that, and I want us to get to a 1,000 subscribers sooner rather than later. So thank you all so much for the support. I want to talk about Magnificent Mavens because this set is an absolute bonkers, disgusting-ass set. Th there's a reason why this set's called Mama because as Johnny Bravo says, Oh, Mama, this set is fucking bonkers. So you've got the whole Sky Striker core in, in here, um, and this set's like over 100 cards. Like I think it's up to like 113 cards. Even YG Organization says, Is this the best set of all time? Yes, this is the best. Def Obviously, it's not a core set, but it is the best side set of all fucking time. This is honestly, I would make the argument that this is better than the 2022 Megatons, which is known for having reprints, which is one of the best sets of the year. This blows that out the fucking water. You can't tell me that having an entire Sky Striker core plus the Ashizu stuff, plus Witchcrafter stuff, plus really good reprints and Sword Soul reprints, uh, like, you can't tell me that this set isn't amazing. There were so many good things in here. Obviously, you have the new Ishizu Mill Sport. We knew that that stuff was going to be in here. Uh, we weren't, we knew about Sky Striker Mobilized Link Age, but we didn't know that, like, basically the whole fucking crew was going to be in this set. Like, th by buying a case of this set, if you pull, like, a Sky Striker core, there's no reason to not hold on to it because. You're essentially just getting it for free along with any other cards that you get. Like, there is no reason now that, like, if you buy a lot of Magnificent Mavens, that you shouldn't have a Sky Striker core lying around. Because, you know, it's a rogue deck that comes in and out of the meta from time to time. I've said multiple times about how it's held together with Gorilla Glue, Tape, and Mystic Mine. But still, like, if they get more support down the road, like with Link Age, and now they've got that Machine Dupe monster and stuff, like, if they keep on getting support like that, they may be able to make a comeback eventually, especially if Engage, for whatever ungodly reason, comes back to three at some point. Um, obviously, you have a bunch of Sword Soul stuff, which honestly is perfect because the deck isn't really doing too much right now, but to see a bunch of the stuff reprinted is just... Uh, fucking amazing. Yadagrasu and BLS is cool. Keep in mind that we do have the Pharaoh's Rare in this set. So, like, True Name was, like, a Pharaoh's Rare. I think BLS was a Pharaoh's Rare. I could be wrong. Um, you've got a couple Therion cards in here. Draco Necro needed the reprint. Elder Entity Ints needed the reprint. Millennium Miser Strick was, like, 50 bucks. That needed a reprint. Uh, Cat Shark needed it. Utopia Kaiser, totally awesome, needed it. Cerberus and Phoenix are always good reprints. Uh, Boral Sword's always a good reprint. No one's playing it, but I mean, it, it's just good to have. Same with Apollosa, uh, it's a great reprint. We knew about Sarah. Feather Duster, this is the tournament pack art. That's always good to have. Scapegoat, always good to have. Goat format or with Scapegoat now being at three if you want to mess around with that. Legendary Ocean is finally an ultra. Change of Heart needed a reprint. Instant Fusion needed a reprint. Like, you can see all the things that I'm mentioning. Like, these things needed reprints. Look at this stuff. You have Lightning Storm, Talents, Anti-Spell, Skill Drain, Gozen, Evenly, Imperm, Ice Dragon's Prison. Like, look at all those cards I just named off. Th that is insane. And it even says here there's a bunch of cards beyond 103, but they're all Pharaoh's Rares, extremely difficult to pull. Uh, over 20 boxes were open on videos. Only one Pharaoh's Rare was open. That should speak for itself. Regardless, I mean, th this stuff is nuts. There is no reason. If you have money burning a hole in your butt cheeks, you need to go out and just buy, buy, buy this set. Like, buy it, buy it, buy it. You want to know, Avery, should I invest in this? Fuck yeah, you should invest in this. There is no reason why you should not be investing in this set unless you just don't have extra cash to blow. Like, I'm getting probably several cases of this set because, whole mama, it's a, it's a badass set. Like, we have not had a reprint set like this, I think, like, honestly, in years. Like, I can't think off the top of my head 
a side set that reprinted basically two core decks between Sky Striker and Sword Soul. More Sky Striker than Sword Soul, but I mean, a lot of the Sword Soul stuff's here. You know, you could get like a, I guess a mini Sword Soul core from like this set and then just buy the other stuff you need online. Should Baroness de Fleur had to, should have been in here? Yeah, that would have been really nice because I'm pretty sure the card's still over $100. So like if you want to play Sword Soul, you're still dropping 100 bucks on one card. That does feel bad. But when your whole investment drops by over, like, I'm just going to throw a number out there, like, let's say 50%, you know, if you end up, like, let's say you want to play Sword Soul, and to get everything, you're spending, like, 250 and and 100 of that comes from the Baroness, but yet the other 150 completes the deck, I wouldn't feel terrible about that. Shit, I spent over 300 just getting all my Runic stuff to have a, uh, to have a core, like, to have a play set of everything. Like... Uh, 250 is less than 300 pimp like i would rather play sword soul for that price so this this set is just oh my god it's beautiful doom dozer was pretty good it's, it's kind of whatever mizuki is fine chaos hunter is amazing uh like really konami 10 out of 10 two thumbs up and a booty shake like you got a lot of amazing stuff here incredible ecclesia uh i mean the the whole list is just it's here there, there's really nothing in here where i'm like yeah that was kind of a bad like idea uh i mean it's like everything in here minus like maybe foolish return is great i mean th this is an amazing set this is amazing now what are the implications for this moving forward well if you have any regionals in november you're gonna have to deal with this mill support however if you're like me and you have a regional november 5th this stuff is legal at ots stores on november 2nd and then the set's legal everywhere on the 4th so People may not be able to get all of their milling stuff from this set as quick as you may think. Because remember, the Shizu stuff, at least from what we've seen so far, seems to be a bit short printed. So you have to keep that in mind if you are going to buy bulk of this set or, you know, buying sealed. It may be a little bit difficult to pull that Shizu stuff. You may be better off just buying singles and like, I don't know, overnight shipping it to your front door. So guys, let me know what you think about this set. I, I know I've said it like a thousand times in this video, but you've got to either buy singles, honestly, on pre-sale, or you need to go out and just buy bulk, buy bulk, buy bulk, because this is going to have value like a year from now, six months from now, the price is going to start going up, and everything in this set is worth pulling. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much. We're so close to a thousand subs. I know we're going to get there. Give it like two weeks, and I think we'll be there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.